Hey everybody and welcome to this little quick tip. Um, I get asked quite a lot uh, what's the difference between a rack instrument and a track instrument in Cubase. So I thought why not do a short little stream on it and show you what this is all about. I would highly appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified when we get new stuff coming. We do composing tutorials, reviews, live streams and also giveaways so be sure to subscribe to uh, get the latest info when we go online or when a new video is up so without further ado let's jump straight in and see what this is all about so track instrument versus rack instrument um in the past cubase had only rack instruments and track instrument was introduced like i think in version 8 or 8.5 something like that to understand the difference, it's best to jump straight in. So we first start with the old way of Cubase doing things, which was the rack instrument. So you clicked on instrument, add a new instrument in this. Well, let's go with contact for this. And there will be a dialogue popping up, which says, do you want to create a MIDI track assigned to plug in contact five? This one here. And of course we want to do this. And let's move this here into the Rack Instruments folder. And also, Cubase created a VST instrument output from Contact. So this is this Rack Instrument Contact, and this is the first stereo output that this plugin has. So when we open up the instance of Contact, load a piano here just for the sake of having some sound. So let's close this and we don't hear anything right now because we need to arm the MIDI track that is linked to this rack instrument. So, and basically here you see what happened. We have, uh, in this case, the mixer chose all the channels. So we have a MIDI channel. This is this one. And in the routing, you can see that this MIDI channel is sent to the contact one instrument which is this guy here and back to the MIDI channel so we have a MIDI channel and an audio return from the plug-in so you get two channels for one instrument pretty much one MIDI channel as you can see with this little icon here and one instrument audio return channel that is this one Now let's first start with the difference. So what is the difference to a track instrument? Let's load up a track instrument now. And ideally we take the same just to have a comparison. So there we have our track instrument. And as you can see, there was no dialogue with asking for a MIDI channel because this is now combined. So this whole instrument channel here is actually these two channels combined this MIDI channel and this uh, return channel so we have no sound because we haven't loaded anything so let's go with the same sound there piano and now you can see in the mixer this is just the single VST instrument and also it directly receives the MIDI input. Whereas the contact MIDI channel that was created receives MIDI and sends this MIDI to the instrument channel here. So that is the track instrument, a single track for an instrument. And this is the rack instrument where MIDI channels can be routed to. So the main difference between these two is that when you plan to work with just a few instruments in Cubase, let's say like five or 10 instances of contact, these are the track instruments are way easier to handle in various terms. So let's name this piano for a bit and name this piano MIDI, just to know the difference there. So this is the or piano track instrument. So, and 
right now you have the audio controls and they correspond to the mixer channel directly so when I move this volume fader you can see it move in the track here as well so these correlate as you can see whereas in the MIDI channel the volume is a MIDI message that is sent to the contact instance so when I move the volume knob here um, so usually it, yeah there you see it usually moves the contact volume fader but the mixer itself as you can see here uh, you can see the MIDI volume channel moving just so you can see the mixer channels here so when I move this fader it moves the MIDI fader but not the instrument return channel uh, whereas the instrument track directly correlates to the volume fader in the mixer uh, what is this good for um, first and foremost it's way easier to automate things directly in the mixer so when you say you want to have uh, a volume automation on a rack instrument you can automate the volume which corresponds to the volume in the contact instrument so you would automate this thing when you automate volume whereas when you automate the volume in the piano track instrument you would automate this volume fader and it can be just more convenient to have the automation directly accessible with the track instrument when you plan to use various outputs from one contact instance so using multi-timbral contact uh, instrument and for example having a bass on the second channel so that receives on channel 2 if we would want to utilize it we would need to add a MIDI track we can name that bass so now we receive on MIDI channel 1 and MIDI channel 2 or this in this uh, rack instrument I have to admit the same is possible for uh, the track instrument so you can add a MIDI track to the track instrument let's call this bass track instrument and you can see here this is routed to piano track instrument on MIDI channel 2 so we could load the bass here as well but the thing is that you see it returning on the track instrument channel here whereas here it's returning on the rack instrument channel so both offer the same functionality but it's more convenient to work with additional MIDI channels on rack instruments and then you can set up the outputs for example let's add a second output for the bass here Sh send this to output 2 so now if we click on both and in the mixer we can see let's make this smaller so this is the rack instrument piano return and this is the bass instrument return and these are the two MIDI channels and as you can see since I haven't touched the bass volume here the MIDI channel is not so this is the MIDI volume that I'm controlling right now when you for example get rid of the MIDI channels in the mixer this volume here doesn't control the mixer channel but again the contact audio out or the, the volume of the instrument you can see that here the pretty much for my workflow the rack instrument I use this when I hook up 
external instruments through Vienna Ensemble Pro uh, because I want a clear differentiation between the MIDI channel and the audio return. So all the MIDI channels are set up and the audio returns are independent with the rack instruments. With the track instruments I usually use them if I just do a single instrument like this piano and it is way faster to load a different instrument when you just duplicate a track for example and load a different instrument here. Let's say we put the bass here. So now we have the bass in one instrument and the piano in the other. Let's rename this bass. And in the mixer, we now have two instrument channels that I can directly play. And then I can mix everything here in the mixer. And I have direct access to audio insert, sense, and, and fader settings, etc. Duplicating is way easier and also automating these tracks. So when I say I want to fade in on the bass in the mixer, so you can see that the fader is automated there. That's pretty much all there is to it. So track instrument, single track, rack instrument, a rack with dedicated audio and MIDI channels. That's pretty much all there is to it. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions to that. If you want to know more about quick tips, whatever you want to know about Cubase, let me know and I try to answer as best as I can. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.